Hello again my fellow Jetty users, welcome back to my workshop for another of my hopefully helpful little videos on Jetty and this one is about connecting your Jetty transmitter to your mobile phone. Sadly, not for Jetty Studio, but for all sorts of other file management. It would be helpful if Jetty would make a studio app. Anyway, I'd often wondered about doing this, but I uh, didn't feel it was the sort of thing I fancied experimenting with in case I caused any damage, but a few days ago on Jetty's Facebook page they put up the idea of uh, connecting your mobile phone to your transmitter to do this very thing, move files around. So, with Jetty's approval, let's have a look at how why you can do this. Now, the advantages for me are, for example, when I'm programming a model and I want a custom sound file, voice file, um, I go to the rc-thoughts.com website, create the voice file and put it onto the transmitter. But to do this means I've got to leave my workshop, go to the house, find the laptop, charge it up, because of course it's flat, because it doesn't get used much, and then uh, connect it up to the transmitter and put the file on it. But my phone's always with me, it's on in the workshop playing my rock music, and it'd be very handy just to be able to get the file from the internet on the phone onto the transmitter, and you could even do it at the model airfield. You don't have to be at home to do it. Another thing you can do is move files between transmitters. So, for instance, at the airfield, if you've got a, a nice um, audio file that someone would like, you can do it, or even um, move model memory itself from your transmitter to their transmitter if you're needing to buddy box or if they've got the same plane as you but they're not happy with the way they've programmed it and they like the way you've programmed yours you can just give them the file there and then. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. I've got here a Samsung Galaxy S10. If you have a different phone, a different maker, an Apple, whatever, please don't send me questions about how to do it with those because I haven't a clue. I don't have those phones. Just do what I did. Uh, plug it all in, have a route around, see what you can do. I've got two transmitters here. I've got my 24 and a 12 that's on loan from Jetty UK for making videos just like this. And the other thing I've got now is a USB cable for this job, which will live in my transmitter case. Now, bizarrely, uh, Jetty in their Facebook post said you need a USB-A to USB-C converter. I say it's bizarre because the plug on the back of your transmitter here is a USB Mini B. So if you get an A to C cable, it's not going to plug into your transmitter. So you need a cable which is a Mini B to USB whatever type your phone has. And if you're not sure, then just Google for USB connectors and have a look at all the images that come up. There are lots of little charts showing you what they all different shapes are and which one they are. So you can get the right one for your phone. And uh, we'll just keep that awake. So having got that, let's go in here. We'll go into, in this phone, I want the file manager, which is in Samsung My Files. And there it's showing the various things it's got, internal storage, the SD card, a few other bits. And I've gone into here so we can see the transmitter when it appears. So we take the other end of our cable, plug it in, start the transmitter, yes, connect USB, yes, back to here. Let's have a look, and in a moment... In a moment, there we are, USB storage one. Click on that. And there are all the familiar folders from your transmitter, plus uh, the odd one or two extras like Android. It's presumably the phones put that in there, but there's the ones from your transmitter apps, audio config, devices, help, images, language log, etc. Lost der. I think that's maybe one that the uh, Android system has just popped in there. And so what I'm going to do is transfer an audio file from my 12 to the 24, uh, 24 to the 12. So we'll click on audio. Uh, I've only got one language folder because just for neatness I deleted all the other languages because I don't speak them and I untick the box during updates so I don't spend hours updating languages I don't use. So into the EN for English and I'm looking for a file called got to land. There we are, got land. So long click on that. That's it, copied. 
Now, I want to press the copy here when I've got back to the right folder. Uh, I can't just unplug, plug it into the 12 and say paste it there. I need to paste it somewhere on the phone temporarily. So if we go back up to the top of the files, I'll go to SD card, download, and say copy here. There we are. GotlandWav is now there. So uh, I can say, take that, copy it. I will now uh, escape that one. Unplug from the 12. And we'll go and plug into, sorry, unplug from the 24. I'm missing my espressos. Plug it into the 12. Switch on, yes, USB, yes. Now we'll go back to the main one and we'll wait for the 12 to appear. Any second now, there we are, USB storage one. Into there, into audio. And there you can see all the different languages that are in this one, in the 12. So I'll click on EN and I will say copy here. And that appears to be it done. Let's scroll down and see if Gotland is in there. There it is. With a little notification because it's a new file. Lovely. Now let's see if we can prove that works. Come back here, press escape to come out of USB and disconnect the cable. Okay, let's go into the file manager and see if it's there. So into applications, file browser, SD card, audio, EN. Please be there. There it is. Let's prove that it works. Cooper, we got to land this thing. We are way low on gas. You understand me? So there we go. You can transfer files between transmitter or from the internet to your transmitter or from your transmitter to your uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, backup stores, whatever, with your mobile phone and a heck of a lot handier than using a PC. So have fun with that.